I take this honor to, to welcome you to this press briefing. We are here today uh, because Uganda is richly endowed with a variety of mineral resources. You know them, including uh, marble, gold, copper, cobalt, tea, uh, tungsten, iron ore, uh, beryllium, limestone, salt, phosphate, graphite, lithium, rare earth, the list goes on and on. As government, and in promoting the sustainable exploitation of Uganda's minerals, our strategic our objective, as mentioned earlier, as government, is to promote a value addition for employment creation, industrialization, and local content development. In doing this, we've undertaken some reviews of our legal, of our policy, legal, as well as regulatory frameworks. We have a policy of 2018, which is guiding the sector. We recently, in 2022, came up with the Mining and Minerals Act of 2022, which is uh, going to streamline the sector for some future time. Renzori Rare Metals is a Ugandan mining company with a majority shareholding by Ionic Rare Earth. Ionic Rare Earth is an Australian uh, entity that's listed in the Australian Stock Exchange. We've been conducting exploration activities in eastern Uganda for the last 10 years, it's actually over 10 years. And uh, we are present in the, in the districts of of, of Bugweri, Mayuke, Ujiri, and Ligak, doing exploration for rare earth, uh, rare earth elements, which are part of the so-called uh, critical, uh, critical minerals. And we are developing this asset so that it will be an operating mine by year 2025. Our work to date includes, as I indicated before, mineral exploration over the six licenses that we, we have. We are also in the process of developing a demonstration plant uh, as part of our you know, development of a processing plant that uh, Mr. Vincent Katie spoke, spoke about. The purpose for this uh, demonstration plant is to test all our assumptions on mineral processing, material handling, as well as to inform the, you know, the mine design and planning, so that when we start mining activities, we are well informed and doing it well. Uh, you see so many companies in exploration, whether it is iron ore or other minerals, uh, you see them taking samples and you never see them again. Is it as it? I want you to understand that the process of establishing a mine is a lengthy one. In fact, on the average, you, it is world over, it is assumed a period of between 10 to 20 years, even 15 before you establish a mine. It is that lengthy. In fact, I use an example Renzori Rare Earth. We've taken well over 15 years to get to this level. Uh, <laughs> and so, if you're in a hurry, I'm afraid you, you'll, you'll not be a miner. This exploration, because the reason you see some of them taking samples, they, and they take different forms, maybe rock samples, soil samples, name it. And then they do drilling. Uh, before drilling, even, you have trenching. You have all manner of. Uh, you are trying to see whether what you are exploring is what is viable and economically viable. So until you ascertain what we call a proven reserve of a mineral in a mineralized zone, and you know it can take you so many years, there is no way you go and raise money to put up a mine. 